Bangladesh is an alluvial delta, which consists of numerous waterways. And it has, whenever I think of Bangladesh, I think how blessed the country is for its climate, which creates lush green undulating rice fields because of this soft land. It's often said that the people of Bangladesh are just as soft as the land itself. They are loving people, they're soft-hearted, they would do anything for democracy, and wherever they are, they make friends. So if you go to Bangladesh, you will never feel alone. Keeping up with that tradition, we will have some children that will be bringing flowers to the stage for our guests that will be up here. Now, with that, I would like to introduce someone that really doesn't need much introduction. Our guest of honor truly needs no introduction. He has won the last mayoral election in Houston by an unprecedented 90% margin and over. He has earned the trust and respect of all Houstonians alike, especially the very vibrant community of immigrants that we have in Houston. The crisis of Hurricane Katrina and Rita does bear the glaring evidence of his outstanding management skills and political acumen. We are honored to have him here. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with our privilege we would like to welcome Honorable Mayor Bill White to formally declare our convention open. <coughs> Thank you, and it's fit that we start this program with some young people up here. I applaud those who include the young people in this particular celebration because they are our future after all, aren't they? Uh, we welcome everybody here. Now, look, uh, those who've never visited Houston before, usually about this time of year, it's about Oh, 65 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit here in Houston. It's very cool during the evenings. We need fire to keep our feet warm. And we managed somehow, when we heard that this convention was here, we wanted to have weather that was fit for those who come from Bangladesh during the summertime. I hope we succeeded in that. Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee, Congressman Al Green, Member Peter Brown and uh, distinguished guests. Uh, it's my honor to welcome you all to Houston. Amer Houston is America's fourth largest city. Many of us think of it as America's great city of opportunity because we have people from all backgrounds, from all continents. We have one school where there's over 60 languages spoken in the school. We are hardworking people. People come here to work generally, not just to retire. Uh, we are one of the fastest growing big cities in this continent. Just a little over a hundred years ago, this was a small village of some 60,000 people. Males outnumbered females because it was considered too dangerous for some females. Now we are uh, a great metropolis over the last five and a half years. 
since I've been blessed with the confidence of this community. We've added over 300,000 new jobs, jobs with the future, many of them filled by members of the Bangladeshi community here within our great community. We brought crime rates down to the lowest rate in over two decades. We built affordable housing. We've cleaned the air. We've created more parks and libraries. But more than anything else, we're proud of the fact that we're a community that has come together to get things done. During the time of the partition and the independence that we celebrate, you saw what happened when some pitted group against group, where there was a mentality of us versus them, and people treated each other not as brothers and sisters, but as enemies. Here in this community, we come together we came together as did members of this community in giving relief to our neighbors in times of hurricanes.